Well, hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. They call me Mitchell and this is your energy forecast and your intuitive message for today, Monday, May the 2nd, 2016. And as always, thank you for taking time to retweet, post, subscribe, become a fan, support me on patreon.com and just watch this video. I truly, truly appreciate it so much. So I am coming off of an amazing, amazing weekend. I've got my certificate from the Terror School. Um, I went up to Reader Studio 2016 and had an amazing weekend. Hello to everybody I met. Hello to everybody I got to see again. Um, you know, those who hung out with me the most, I appreciate you holding my hand through this amazing weekend. So the message today is this, and I'm going to elaborate on it. Be mindful what you whisper. The universe is still intently listening. The universe is still listening, even when you're whispering. And I say that because, so this is my third year at Reader Studio. And so three years ago in 2014, I went and my 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 conference wife, <laughs> Beverly Frable, who I met in Dallas at Terracon, um, you know, we were sitting there kind of in the back. And this was the first time we both went to Reader Studio. And I don't know when it was in the conference, but I remember just kind of whispering to her. I said, I can see myself on that stage one day. And I, I don't know if it was at the end of the conference or, or but sometime shortly, either during the conference or after the very first one, um, Ruth Ann and Walt asked me to lead a breakfast roundtable the following year. And basically, that's an event where if you want to, you can participate in um, Saturday and Sunday morning at 8 a.m. Someone leads a topic and a discussion. I thought, that would be fun. I can do that. And um, I did it on what do, you, what do you do when your family and friends and spouse and partners don't get this psychic terror stuff you do. And then after that, I proposed a workshop, which they accepted for this year. 2016, which was Lights, Camera, Tarot, using video to create your tarot business. But I can finally talk about it. Um, I got, most of you know, I got married January 25th to Fabian. We've been together for a, nine years and we got married on our ninth anniversary. It was a completion of numerology, nine year cycle. It was an eight day. We met on an eight day. He's an eight sign. Eights follow me everywhere. So it was a cool time. But I remember we got married that morning, had lunch, came home and we were getting ready for people to come over to our house and we were doing things and the phone rang and it was like, it was Ruthann. And I was like, what, what is going on? Hello? And she's like, do you have a minute to talk? I said, well, I'm actually just got married. I'm in the middle of the, my wedding. And she's like, oh, congratulations. But at that point, she extended the invitation. And I was like, heck yes, I would love to be one of the main stage speakers for 2017. So I accepted that the day I got married. And then so I had to sit on that since January 25th till yesterday. And because they announced it, so now it's no longer secret. But um, it was interesting because I remember just whispering, I just, and it wasn't ego or anything. It was like, I want to be on that stage. It was like, I can see myself up there. And of course, I'm a psychic and intuitive, and I've seen things all in my life. But you know, you, you whisper things, and then you think, okay, maybe one day. So, very excited that. Next year, Reader Studio 2017, I will be speaking as one of the main um, presenters at the Terra co component. There are three of us there, and then there are three that speak at the Terra and Psychology. Um, so Farrell Humphreys is going to be there. Um, Katrina Wynn speaking. Um, uh, Jamie, I think it's Block um, from Canada, is going to be there. And then two other, oh, um, uh, I think it's Victor, and I know it's Cooch Daniels, but Cooch Daniels and Victor um, are going to be there speaking. And there's a third one that I don't, uh, for the Terra Psychology, I don't remember the name. Sorry, whoever you are. Um, I will know by then. Um, but uh, so very excited. So your whispers are heard. And, um, you know, sometimes you have to trust these are things I've been preaching to you guys. Sometimes you have to trust when someone sees something in you and they believe you can do it, trust that they're seeing something that maybe you don't see yourself. Because um, I, I certainly didn't think I would be stepping on that stage, you know, anytime soon. Maybe 8, 10, 12, 15 years down the road when I had books and this and that and stuff like that out there. Because the people I'm stepping on stage with are quite accomplished in their field. So I'm trusting that what I will deliver next year will be something powerful and life-changing for those who come there. And that's my intention. Let's look at some numbers and cards. 
So tomorrow, actually today, number seven, metaphysical, mystical, spiritual, you know, intellectual, number seven number. You know, we're in the month of May, May's transition, endings, it's... It, transformation, you know, change, progressive thinking. Um, Normally to go along with today is going to be number one, the writer, which often is about a person. It could be a person bringing a message or it could just be about a message coming to you. Tarot to go along with that writer is going to be Three of Cups. So this could be an invitation to a party because Three of Cups is emotional. It's party. It's fun. It's creative expression. Three is just such a joyous number. Um, it's imaginative, optimistic, and playful. So this three plus this writer, three of cups plus this message coming, just enjoy today. There's probably something very powerful coming at you that's going to be very enjoyable. Like I said, an invitation to a party, a get together, um, or you know what? Maybe you get to work and there's a birthday and you're going to a birthday, birthday. Tomorrow, number eight, eight is self mastery, uh, business success, money, resources, finances, material wealth, and six or clouds goes with that tomorrow. The cloud card is often about, you just quite can't see. You know the sun's behind the clouds, but you quite can't quite see it. It's cloudy. It's foggy. Your path may not be quite as illuminated. Problematic. Uncertain is a good word. I should remember that one. Uncertainty. And then terror to go along with the clouds is ace of wands. Very interesting. So there's an uncertain or cloudy beginning one that might be spiritual in nature, especially on that eight day of success in business. So you know, continue to trust as you move through the clouds. Trust that something powerful is going to start up tomorrow within the realms of self-mastery, business success, you know, material wealth, and things like that. So there you have it. So very excited. Have an amazing day. Namaste, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.